Note the long E worn by most men in Myanmar, including our driver. It's approximately 2 meters long, 80 centimeters wide, and it's worn around the waist, running to the feet. It is so Burmese. Beautiful. Yeah, Independence Park. Independence Park. Independence Park. Yeah. Time. Number one is number one is no not stealing, not never stealing, steal. and never lie. Speak and lie. <laughs> Last week, some good news for travels with Lobo. A good place to start a tour of Yangon would be, well, right there where the red spot is. That'd be a good place to start. As you can see, that red spot is way south in Myanmar, and that's where Yangon is located. Just as a point of reference, the Yangon River is to the south, and at the very top in the north is the Shwedagon Pagoda. And we're still keying on that red spot, that is Maha Bandula Park, a green space with fountains and a monument. And notice just north of it is the famous Sule Pagoda, right in downtown Yangon. You're viewing Travels with Lobo and Barbara, Asia 2020, vlog number 18. By the way, this trip ended as planned end of January 2020. The world may have been turned upside down since then, but our memories remain. Last week, some good news for Travels with Lobo, the best YouTube travel channel that practically nobody views. I have to mention this because it'll probably never happen again, but last week's YouTube vlog from Travels with Lobo was picked up by Google News for my 15 minutes of fame. It sure popped the numbers, if only temporarily. The next story showing the lady with the blonde hair is Dr. Bonnie Henry. She's the able spokesperson for COVID-19 in British Columbia, my province in Canada. Now, let's continue with this week's vlog. Downtown Suli Temple in Yagon, yeah. biggest in the middle. And also City Hall, white building. City, city oh, Hall over beautiful. here. It's beautiful. The red building, uh, high court office. In the middle of Yangon, the city center of Pagoda, Suli. Sule. Yeah. Pagoda yeah, yeah. name is Sule. And this. Note the long E worn by most men in Myanmar, including our driver. It's approximately 2 meters long, 80 centimeters wide, and it's worn around the waist, running to the feet. It is held in place by folding fabric over without a knot. It is so Burmese. Beautiful. Yeah, Independence Park. Independence oh, wow. Park. In Independence Park. 1948, right? Oh, yeah. Beautiful sunny day, and we're at the most important uh, points in, uh, in Myanmar. The Independence Monument, 1948, and then all of a sudden things could have gone south. 1948. Yeah. Barbie, how did you, oh my goodness, you were lucky. Oh boy. Barbara just about. Surely a big hazard, especially in Southeast Asia, are drop offs that you didn't notice. You gotta be lucky when you travel in Southeast Asia, the hazards are multitudinous. I could do a whole vlog on that. Fell down here. Yeah, very similar color. Yeah, that's... Uh... Damage avoided, as we could have ended up with a twisted ankle, a broken ankle, uh, and uh, we didn't. Uh, I like the way our driver covers it up with uh, similar color, hard to see. He's a refined gentleman and very diplomatic. 1948, commemoration of Burmese independence from the British Empire. A 64 meter high tower. Historical summary engraved around the base of the statue. 
and some bronze lions. The park is named after General Maha Bandula, who fought against the British in the First Anglo-Burmese War, 1824-1826. It actually used to be called uh, Victoria Park, as there was a white marble statue of Queen Victoria placed there in 1896. Of course, after independence, that statue was sent packing back to England and replaced by the obelisk that is there now, designed by the same architect who did the White City Hall across there. So, so we are ASEAN country. Yes. Burmese is uh, written from left to right and requires no spaces between words, as you can see, although modern writing usually contains spaces after each clause to enhance readability. And there coming into view, the uh, former Supreme Court building. Uh, the Supreme Court is now located in the capital city of Naypyidaw. A beautiful view of the bronze lions. Glistening in the sun, the White City Hall. Beautiful video, eh? Beautiful video. And right there on the left, uh, the light-colored skyscraper, the Pullman Hotel. If you got some spare change, that would be a nice place to stay, but not for us. And if you're going to have a demonstration in Yangon, it's probably going to be in support of Song Sang Suu Kyi. Uh, and it'll take place in the park and the surrounding streets. Here are some examples. Back in 2015, when her party won a majority demonstrations in the park, the most recent one being uh, of the defense of Myanmar at the International Court of Justice for genocide. And look right there to be held at Maha Bandula Park. And right in the proximity is the Golden Spire of Sule Pagoda, our next destination, and you can just walk over there. Beautiful palm trees, and we're on our way Sule. to this spectacular Sule. place, uh, Sule Pagoda. Thank you. Let's go. Buddhist monks have a special and sacred place in Burmese society. For example, just in yesterday's news, a Myanmar court has sentenced a doctor to 21 months in jail after convicting him of insulting Buddhist monks in connection with a debate about a proposal to teach sex education in school. This was over a Facebook comment. Artic, yeah. Oh, teak, teak wood, yes, yes. Oh, how beautiful. Look, it even uh, looks nicer in the camera than it is in real life. Remember that my primary video camera was lost on the very first day of our Asia 2020 trip, so I shot the rest of it, all of it, on my Huawei P20 smartphone. Sometimes it turns out spectacular, sometimes not so. Since this was shot at 4K, you had to use a gimbal. <laughs>
Legend has it that Sule Pagoda was built before Shwedagon Pagoda during the time of Buddha, making it more than 2,600 years old. The site was revealed from an old gnat who resided at the place where the Sule Pagoda now stands. Gnats are spirits worshipped by Myanmar and neighboring countries in conjunction with Buddhism. They are divided between 37 great gnats and all the rest. Almost all of the 37 great gnats were human beings who met violent deaths. Gnat worship is less common in urban areas than in rural areas and is practiced among ethnic minorities of Myanmar as well as in mainstream Bamar society. Our driver talking about the basic principles of Buddhism, but that's different from the Four Noble Truths. That's something else. So one more time. Number one is number one is no not stealing, not never stealing, steal. and never lie, speak and lie, and never killing, any even end, nothing, nothing, a life, any a life thing any life. cannot kill. Ah, uh, yeah, nine. And another one is cannot drink any alcohol. Okay. And number five is not set with others. Only your own. You're only your wife. Right, right. right. Excellent. We should all live by by that. Yeah. We should all live by that. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. You can find him on Facebook, and he speaks English well. Very educated, knowledgeable. Thank you for viewing and uh, joining in our adventure of uh, Asia 2020. You've probably never heard this on YouTube before, but if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and share it and God knows what to do with it, but give it something positive. See you next Friday. Oh.